all across the nation, scout units are discovering winter camping. Hey, Scouter Stan here. Winter camping, that is something when uh, you have to understand a little bit about my history. I love winter camping. Um, in, in my past, when I was a youth, uh, my father was a professional scouter. And when you're in professional scouting, every three to four years, you move to a new area. So I lived all over the Northeast. Um, I love winter camping. I remember, I believe it, I was living in Saratoga Springs. Um, that my father was a professional scouter, and uh, that was the that was the desert. And Saratoga, uh, Camp Saratoga, was beautiful. A uh, beautiful place still exists. I don't think it's a scout camp anymore, from what I've seen. Uh, but I do have some photographs of it. Uh, but it's uh, current day. And the wonderful thing about it is we had a Klondike Derby. Now, where I live now, I live in Florida. So we don't get snow. So we don't do a Klondike Derby. Or do we? Now, that's something to think about. Um, but back to the, the camping that I did, I actually stayed outside. It was 20 below zero Fahrenheit. Okay, for those in Europe, <laughs> you're going to have to do the math for Celsius. Uh, but the thing is, it was 20 below. But I was very lucky. Our troop had, had a, um, a Canadian native that was visiting and taught us how to build an igloo and sleep in it overnight. Now, that was quite the experience. I'll... I'll never forget it. I, I, it's 20 below zero at night, howling wind and, and snow drifts, and I, I didn't freeze to death. And I, I granted it was my guide who taught me that the number one thing about winter camping is staying dry. Critical. Once you get wet, it's very hard to dry out. Very hard. And once you get wet, you're, you start losing your temperature, okay? Whether it be um, because you're in the snow, which is made out of water, uh, it's natural to be, um, you know, your shoes are going to be wet. You know, there's ways of taking care of these things, staying dry. And as long as you can stay dry, you can stay warm. That's the big thing. Uh, the human body, uh, we, you know, uh, when you're doing activities and working out and stuff, the human body sweats, and that's a matter of cooling you down. You don't want to sweat when you're in 20 degree, 20 below zero weather. You want to stay warm, but you don't want to get so hot that you start sweating. So that's something to keep in mind with your youth. You got to be watching them. Uh, typically, the ones that are bigger, hulkier, you know, you don't have to worry about them as much as the thinner scouts, okay? The scouts that are smaller and, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. I hit the, the microphone here. Uh, the smaller scouts, uh, they typically uh, will lose heat faster. Uh, it's, a, it's a scientific thing, okay? So uh, that's, that's something that, that, that you need to be aware of as an adult leader. Now down in the south, down here in, in mid Florida, central Florida, uh, we don't have snow. We don't have those issues, but it still gets very cold and it feels colder than it actually is. If it's, now th this sounds like a warm time up north, okay, especially in the dead of winter like now, uh, but if it's 50 degrees or 40 degrees outside, um, and the humidity is at 80%, it's going to feel considerably colder because of the moisture. The natural moisture in the air is going to make it feel colder. This is true with, we call it in the south, it's called a humature, okay? And up north, it's called a wind chill. So it's a different, different kind of thing. Wind chill can be, your temperatures can actually go down considerably from wind blowing. The wind actually 
can actually make the temperature when it's say it's a nice 30 degrees outside okay and I'm talking Fahrenheit <laughs> for all this Celsius if it's if it's 30 degrees outside that's below freezing but if it's got a, a, a pretty steady wind that that can get very cold it can get you know well below zero so that's something to keep in mind uh, even winter camping now winter camping in Florida is just like camping up north in the summer um, we don't really do a whole lot of outdoor camping uh, unless it will summer camp of course but we we have winter camps uh, that we do and it's just like a regular summer camp up north that's that's really the big difference when you're looking at the weather and stuff it's always uh, very important uh, to keep safe and to keep our scouts safe. The last thing we want to do is, is frostbite um, and that's something that we need to think about. Um, if they get too cold uh, we could have issues and there should always be a plan B, a backup, some way of getting the scouts warm again as a group you know or individually you, you know there's no one-on-one -on -one, but as if an individual comes to a scout to some scout leaders then they need to be able to get to a facility that's heated so that that scout can not go into hypothermia or something like that okay so they, they need to be aware that there always has to be that plan B uh, and as as scout leaders we need to keep our scouts safe so those are very very important things to consider when doing scout camping during the winter uh, that's true throughout the United States. Uh, probably the only exception would be Hawaii. I don't think I have anybody in Hawaii, do I? I don't know. Anyways, that's my thoughts. And uh, definitely do some winter camping this time. And next time, I will see you on the trail.